I'm James Hand, the Lone Star Dog Trainer down here in Central Texas. Today we're working with Lucy, a seven-month-old Border Collie stray that was picked up on a highway in Oklahoma. Uh, she's about eight months old now. She's been successfully living with a family, um, but successfully is kind of a loose term. She's living with them, but needs obviously to work on improvement. So today we're going to teach her the place command, and the place command is going to teach her to move to a target and stay on it. Uh, it doesn't matter whether she sits, whether she lays down, whether she stands up, spins around, uh, chews on her tail, it really doesn't matter as long as she remains on the target itself. So initially what we're going to do is we're going to introduce her to the target and get her comfortably moving over it. Some dogs will walk on it right away, other dogs will act as if they're going to sink down a hole. Uh, so depending upon how she is, she's a pretty confident dog when it comes to obstacles, uh, so she'll probably more than likely just walk across it. So initially we're just going to take the dog and introduce it to the board and walking it across. Moving it around, just getting it comfortable, nothing else. So let her sniff it, let her check it out, let her know it's not going to hurt her, harm her, or nothing to be concerned about. Come on, come on, come on. Good girl, good girl. So after a few successful repetitions of getting her to walk on it, come on girl, come on. Then I'm going to introduce a simple tap of the button as I say place. Lucy, place. And then I get her to walk across. Nothing significant. I don't want to see any real change in behavior. Place. Good girl. Heel. Good. Place. Good job. Good job. Good girl. Come on. Place. Good girl. So she's comfortably moving over it. So now I'm going to ask her to stay. The jumping at this point I'm not really concerned about. I want her to have energy and enthusiasm in what she's doing. Place. Good. So the next time I come across, I'm going to ask her to remain on position. Place. Sit. Nice. Nice. Good girl. Good girl. Break. Good job, Lucy. Good job. Off. Off. There you go. Come on. Place. Good. A little bit of guidance. Very nice. Very nice. She's a very sweet girl. Very soft. Very normal for pet dog. So, wants to please you, just sometimes doesn't know how. Good, so now, once she's on her place, I want her to stay. I'm gonna try to act in a way that allows her to hold her position. Again, she can sit, she can go into a down, she can spin around, it doesn't matter. Here, good girl, good girl, woo! Woo, off. So there I use continuous pressure and when she gets off of me, I let go. Place. Good girl, good girl. So once we get the general idea of the place command down, I want to start generalizing it very quickly. And I'm going to do that by moving her to different locations. And this command can be used anywhere. It can be used when you're walking your dog at the park. She can jump on rocks, on benches, on walls, on platform or bleachers. Anything that the dog can get its body comfortably and safely on, you should use it. It builds confidence. It builds self-esteem. It develops a dog that likes to do something because jumping is one of their natural things that they like to do. So once I get her in place, I'm going to try and get her to go to elevated platforms. Here. Come on, girl. Place. Good. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Good. Come on. Place. Good girl. Good girl. Very good. Very good. Come on. Here. Good girl. Place. Good. Nice. So she made a nice committed movement to the board. The continuous pressure was on until she initiated movement to the board. Here. So again, I'll say the command place, I'll apply pressure, continuous pressure with the collar, and as soon as she initiates movement to the place board, the pressure will stop. Place. Good girl, good girl. Very nice. Place, place. Good. So there, she broke place, place. And the continuous pressure went on until she had a committed movement back to the place board. So in this case, she will learn that pressure means I have to change my behavior and no pressure means what I am doing is correct. So the absence of pressure for stimulation from the collar means that what she is doing is right. Here. Place. Place. Good. So there she shows some level of understanding. Here. Place. Good. Again, the, as to when I give the command, this continuous stimulation goes on, and the moment that she initiates movement, a committed movement to the place board, the pressure goes off. So the duration of time on the collar isn't always until all four paws are on. 
but the task isn't complete until all four paws are on. But I want to shut the stimulation off as quickly as I can so the dog continues to operate with energy and enthusiasm. Good girl. Good girl. Here. Good job, Lucy. Heel. Here. So I'm moving her around a bit so that she doesn't anticipate automatically going to the board because she's figured out that's how it stops. Good job. Place. Good girl. Good girl. Very nice. Very nice. And I can move her in sequence, in a circle. Place. Good job. Good job. She breaks place. Good. So there, as soon as she broke off the place, I applied stimulation. She immediately turned to go back to the place board and stimulation stopped. Again, the absence of pressure means you're doing it right. So the moment she began to do what is correct, the pressure went away. I did not wait until all four paws were on the board. If you do that, often the dog will become a little listless. They will do things with less energy and enthusiasm because doing it quickly didn't make it turn off. So the faster the dog learns how to turn it off, the more energy and enthusiasm they will do the command with. Come on. Place. Good girl. Very nice. Very nice. Here. Place. Good girl, Lucy. Good girl, heel. Heel. So, many dogs will anticipate going to the place board when they see it. Off. So often I will change direction as I'm approaching it. Place. Good job, girl, good job. Good job. And then I'll begin walking away, coming back to her. I'm not gonna work on the here command at the same time I'm doing place. Initially, I want to work on stability and teaching her that going to her place and staying there, very nice girl, very nice, is what I'm looking for. If I start working the here command concurrently with place, you'll have a dog that breaks off of the place constantly, which is something obviously we don't want. And then we can work on distance distraction and duration. So as she becomes more confident, more comfortable holding her place, I might break out a squeaky toy, I might bounce a tennis ball, I might have another dog pass by, all as she progresses and learns how to be more stable throughout the place exercise. This is one of the two most important commands that we teach for pet dogs because it helps you answer your door. It helps you have family and friends over. So when the dog starts to become a little excited or unruly, we can put the dog on place and they can remain in position while you have fun cooking, entertaining, letting your kids play their games without the dog mauling all over them. Here, good job girl, good job. And then you start working on distance to the place. So she's a border collie, they're very, very smart dogs. They generally get this very fast. Not all dogs will get it this fast, but we will try to send her from four to six feet away. Place, good job girl, good job. So we want to give the dog as much help as possible. The farther away we are, the more guidance with our body and with the leash we want to use. So we have guidance pressure with the leash, guidance pressure with our body, and guidance pressure with the e-collar. Here. Good job, girl. Good job. Very nice. Very, very nice. Sit. Very good, girl. Ready? Place. Good girl. Good girl, Lucy. Very nice. Very nice. Break. Good job, good job. What you doing, what you doing? Here. Place. Good girl. Very nice girl, very nice. Place, place, place. Good. So she broke, but it wasn't intentional. She's just a little distracted. Very good girl. Very good, very good. With a dog that's sensitive like this, I often recommend the folks don't pet her on top of the head because you'll cover the face and it'll put her into a slumping position. I'll lift the head up, make good eye contact, and let her know that's what I'm looking for. Good job, girl, good job. Break. Very good. Place. Good, break. From distance, place. Good job, good job, girl. Heel. Change direction, heel. So that was her anticipating. 
place. Good job. Good job. Now, if you're working in your living room and you only have one location, that's not really a problem. It's okay if your dog becomes a place junkie. Uh, you want them to want to go to their place to be happy. And if your dog is, is unexcited uh, or a little listless, you can use food here. And in, in a subsequent lesson, I'll show you how to incorporate food into this for a dog who is less motivated to move away from you because the food or a toy will help liven them up, uh, make them want to do things with energy and enthusiasm so that you have a fun dog to work with. Come on. Place. Good job, good job. Again, it's not important whether she sits, stands, or goes into a down, as long as she holds her body on the place board. Very nice, girl. Very nice. Very good. Good job, good job. So in summary, the place command is very, very important. It's extremely useful. Uh, it allows you to put your dog in a location and hold them there uh, so that you can do other things. Again, answering the door, cooking, cleaning, letting your kids play, having company come over. So the dog goes to its place and when you see the dog's energy level come down or the excitement start to subside, then you can tell your dog break or call them to you and that allows them to come in without all of the excitement, without all of that energy that would normally cause them to jump all over people or bark incessantly or try and bolt through a door. It is probably the most useful command we teach, the most important obviously to the dog's life being here, but the one that incorporates into your daily life the most is the place command. And we encourage people to do this multiple times a day for different levels uh, and different levels of time period from 20 to 40, uh, even to an hour. Uh, because it allows you to do things that you would otherwise be unable to do with the dog. So this is a kennel without walls. The dog learns to settle, learns to relax, learns to become stable, and therefore you can live your life and not have to confine your dog or put it out in the backyard.